The first time I went to the United States, we moved to Chicago. So we said, let's hold a meeting for one day. They don't know us in America, so let's hold a meeting for one day and greet people. When we got there, the whole place was filled up. It's not like Ghana, where we can change, miraculously change, a 300 seat auditorium to 750 seat. We can buy miracles. <laughs> there, one five is one five. So we got a one five hall just to greet, and it was filled to the brim. So we're driving to the place. I was looking for a message to preach. Lord, what are you saying? It was in that vehicle. Where did it come from? When I preached it, how many hours did it take? It took like three hours. And by the time I finished preaching the message, I was high in spirit. And we decided to pray for the sick. And strange miracles took place. All of those resources came from a man's spirit. We are going for the second trip now. The hall we booked that we thought is big, that is filled up. We booked 3,500. We say, ah, this one is big, this one is big. It's filled up. And the resources that we are going to dispense, where would they come from? Do you realize that you are a bag of resources? And if only you can provoke the river through speaking in tongues consistently, some, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, resources will come out. And those resources will, will sponsor your life. Those, he plucked the river from Eden and he put it inside of I used to know a great prophet in Ghana. I don't want to call his name. But some of you will know him. Great prophet. And I was making plans to come and invite this prophet to Nigeria. But I had to stop. When I was given an update of the prophet's current condition. I know Ghana is a nation of prophets. So I was trying to come close to this particular one. Because of his history. Hallelujah. Every true prophet should have a larger appetite for intercession. That's how we know that is indeed your prophet. Your appetite for intercession, your capacity for intercession should be more than ordinary. The revelatory ministry has its foundation in the priestly office. If the revelations are going to come from God, it must be triggered by prayer power. So I saw this one. As you grow up and you become more spiritual, you discover that that life is very lonely. Because the Holy Ghost will be calling you into his chamber again and again, and your wife too needs to be growing with you. If not, she will not understand the demands that will come upon you in the days of your strength. Hallelujah. Because as she's growing in the spirit, she will understand. And when you are there with God, she will be laboring that. Let that man hear where. Are you with me? But there was an update about this preacher. And the update was contrary to the previous update. When you see sharp changes in the lives of men like that, contrary to the history they have kept over the years, this choice. They must have seen the corruption in the body of Christ. And the people that are corrupted, Jesus did not kill them. They are riding good cars. They are prominent. People in government are reaching out to them for counsel. They will see, you will see them snapping with the president here, vice president here, minister of finance there, and they are laughing. It means there has been exchange. <laughs> so, ah, choice. Choice. It opens the gate of death. And I told you, death is a process, it's not an event. All right? So you see, high profit, it begins to diminish. Death has set in. The idea of God is that the part of the just will be as a shining light that shines more and what? More and more onto the pack of perfect day like Reinhard Bonke. He kept growing in authority until he existed. He existed this world. That's how his part is. We we'll know that the throne he occupies in the spirit. He did, did not become vacant before he left. 
So I couldn't invite that prophet anymore. Because the story had changed. There were current choices that have overwhelmed the previous testimony. For some of you women here, your assignment, because I've met women like that, is to pray for your husband. I met a woman, she knows her assignment very well. It's just to pray for her husband. Her husband is very stubborn, but she ha he has an intercessor. And because of that, he, he, he's a wise man. Not because he's wise in himself. There's they somebody ministering to him. And the woman is convinced that her duty is this one. And when she's going to stand before God, she will not present the whole world, but this one. A very stubborn man. He used prayer to tame him. He came back to his senses. Prayer. You are there. May the Lord open your eyes to know the garden that he wants you to tend. Doctor, do you know I started having international invitations 2012. I had the few invitations. And I went to Jesus. I said, Jesus, I didn't even ask him, are you the one that opened the door? I said, Jesus, thank you for opening the doors. And then he now told me, I'm not responsible for any of those doors. So that was how, how I did not honor those invitations. I, I was on satellite in 2011, satellite television, 2011. I started having invitations 2012, 13, when they knew that I wasn't coming. The things started dropping. Then one of those years, I don't, I've forgotten the year, I got one invitation. When I saw it, I laughed because of the nation. So, <laughs> this, then Jesus came again and said, I'm sending you there. <laughs> it, that's the place, I'm sending you I'm sending you that was the first time in my life I saw cripples rise in an open meeting. Five, five of them began to walk. In fact, when, I, when I, I, I greeted them, I was greeting them on the pulpit, they just brought one boy with twisted legs and kept him here so that if I claim that I didn't, I won't claim that I didn't see him. So when they dropped the boy there, my, preaching, my pulpit became here. We were, I was no longer visiting the, the other side. Do you know that when I was preaching, the guy began to shake like this on the ground. So I went there to investigate what was, what was going on. He was shaking. Then after a while, I noticed the boy stood up. He stood up like this, but he couldn't walk. So, and the normal thing to do was to command him to walk. But they, they, there was no courage to accomplish it. Please understand that that's the first time. That's the first time. No courage at all. Because I was wondering, I said, okay, what if I talk now? What if he now falls down? That <laughs> it was my interpreter that now came to me. I, I, was, I was observing the ball. My interpreter now came from the back. And he probably wanted to tell me that. Can you see the miracle? So he touched me. It was when he touched me at the back, that walk now came out of me. That walk, I assure you, was not my doing at all. <laughs> this boy began to walk. I'm telling you now, I know nothing about the boy's book. The mother now began to cry. When other people that were crippled saw him, they threw their crutches away. I started walking. So, the people were now saying, I was a big preacher from Nigeria. In fact, they had to, was, to whisk me away from the pulpit that night to avoid stampede. I went to my room and said, what is happening? You know what, what is happening? The Lord sent me. That's what is happening. When the Lord sends you, even though you are not a powerful man, you will now accomplish powerful things. Yeah. People that gave their life to Christ, I took them to the, the river for baptism. So they sang a song in their language, and it was so sweet. Even though I, I couldn't hear what they were saying, but it was sweet in the spirit. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Bethesda, Bethesda. Then I remembered that place in scripture in the book of John chapter 5 where an angel came and stirred the water and anyone that entered first was he ah, I entered inside the water I, I'm the angel now you know after what happened faith, the faith has uh, gone on. <laughs> I entered inside the water and I said people that are sick do you know this is life, this is real we started that baptism 12 noon we finished by 4 p.m. People that were sick were getting here, just entering that water. I said, what's happening? 
there's an unbeliever. He's, he's an academic, so he doesn't believe all this miracle. When I landed from the plane, we came to his house. He came with a medical report and uh, an x-ray that some muscles here, were, they were torn. I saw it in the x-ray. I laid my hands there, prayed for him. Then we went for the crusade for seven days. By the time we got back, because he wanted to prove that I was a fake preacher, he went back for another x-ray and discovered that he couldn't see the torn muscles there again. So he kept it and waited for me. When we came back from the field, we branched at his house. He went inside and brought. He said, now he believes the God that we came to preach. <laughs> My driver now told me that his in-law's house is close to this place. Can he just pass there? Let me bless them. He said, why not? We go to the in-law's house. His father-in-law, deaf in one ear since when he was nine, and then the other ear, could only hear slightly. So when I greeted him, he did not hear. He said, no, it's not as if he's not a good man. He can't hear. I, just, I put my hand in his ear. I said, Jesus can open this ear. Before I prayed, the man started hearing. The, the ear that was deaf could hear better than the real one. The man now began to dance without music. I noticed his wife was sitting down. She was excited, but she was sitting down. I was expecting her to stand. She had a stroke prayed for her. The woman stood up and began to pray. You know, at this time, the faith, the faith was... <laughs> she began to work. Their first son came from that door and said in his heart, hey, this false prophet, he came. As he said that, I heard it as if a human being spoke to me. I, I went to him and said, am I the one you're calling a false prophet? He was so amazed that he, he fell down. So that's how I left them on my way to the airport. When we got to the airport, I noticed the driver was crying. So the military people that were supposed to, the security people now, they arrested me. <laughs> that I made their citizens. He now came and explained to them. The, Air Force, the, the military people needed prayer. <laughs> now, that was my first mission outside of my country. Me too. I, I was crying. <laughs> but God commanded me to go. If I take you to the book of Acts of the Apostles, I will show you how that Jesus gave his apostles commandments. Now, so this is what I saw before I came to the podium. I saw, I saw something like an insect. And this insect came and it stung someone. And the person became sick. And the person was taken to hospital. Then the spirit of death came to take the person. So I've investigated this vision that I saw and it's the story of someone that is present here today. There's an arrangement, a plan. A plan that has been concluded in the kingdom of darkness. To bring you into a season of brief illness. Brief illness and exit. Brief illness and exit. My assignment this evening is to stop that process. Now, so in a moment of time, I'm going to ask the Lord to show me who he's talking about. The reason why I extended the teaching was to verify this message. All right? So uh, can we pray in a moment? If you are with me, uh, just raise your right hand as we pray together. And those of you in the overflow upstairs, you are a part of what is happening. As I pray, the Lord will isolate he will isolate the individual or individuals that he's talking about so that we can cast out this witchcraft intention and release the yoke. Release the yoke. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. I ask, oh God, tonight, 
that your hand might be stretched forth over this congregation that your hand might be stretched forth over the people upstairs that one that has been marked by the enemy to slip into a season of brief illness and be cut off I ask father that you stretch forth your hand stretch it Lord from my left hand side stretch it Lord to my right hand side stretch it Lord to the overflow anywhere that individual is sitting or standing in this hall in the overflow stretch forth your hand stretch forth your hand identify this individual 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 let your hand come stronger on this individual Ushers, if you find them, bring them for me. We that's I need to ensure. Oh, shh. Straight forth your hand. Straight forth your hand. Straight forth your hand. Straight forth your hand. Identify, 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 identify. Now help me go up. I'm seeing somebody upstairs there. Help me go up and bring that person down. There is a marking of the kingdom of darkness. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Identify these individuals. So that the yoke can be broken. So that the yoke can be destroyed. So that the yoke can be destroyed. Father, today, we want to remove their names. Hey, 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 hey. Stretch forth your hand, Father. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Identify this one. Identify this one. Identify this one. We refuse the power of the grave. The victory that Satan has planned over your life in the name of Jesus. Help me go upstairs. I'm seeing somebody upstairs. Bring the person carefully down before I begin to pray. Now for those of us in the congregation, can you raise a prayer for your family right now? Let the door of spiritual attacks be closed. Be totally closed. Be totally closed to that family. Let it be closed. 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 Let it be closed in the name of Jesus. Let it be closed in the name of Jesus. Let it be closed in the name of Jesus. Let it be closed in the name of Jesus. Let that door be closed. Closed. Closed in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of Satan be broken. Let the hand of Satan be broken. Let the yoke break. That from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Let the yoke be destroyed in the name of Jesus. concerning your life let the yoke that you carry be lifted up from upon you I speak liberty 
I speak liberty. 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 I speak liberty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. Let her go. I speak liberty. In the name of Jesus. Liberty. 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 <laughs> Cry for your family right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh. 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 Now, now, now. There's, there's one of us here. Someone took your name. Took your name to a strange place. Took your name to a strange place. I don't know the conflict, what the conflict is about. But your name was taken. Your name was taken. Okay, the way we can find who you are, just put your hand here. We'll find. Father, that one whose name was taken, I ask that you stretch forth your hand. Bring a reaction. Let there be a reaction. Let there be a reaction. Let there be a reaction. A reaction. A reaction. A reaction. A reaction. A reaction. In the name of Jesus. A reaction. A reaction. Oshas, have you found the reaction? Okay, bring the person. First of all, we want to send a message to the wizard that accepted this contract. Bring that person. So just allow her sleep. So you, you help me, okay? Put your hand on her stomach like this. Just pray, pray in the spirit. Father, can we send a message to that man that accepted the contract because you took the contract for this one that belongs to Jesus darkness comes falls on you this night darkness it comes upon you this night we destroy that contract we destroy the vengeance we cut it off in the name of Jesus okay so I see now I see that Jesus wants to heal as someone's eyes. Have you found another reaction there? Okay. Now listen. You have eye problem. Jesus has given me a signal. You can put down your hand. Jesus has given me a signal that is interested in healing you. Oh, bring that one. Bring that one. Let me just touch. We we'll take your name away from the list. We we'll take your name away from that list. We we'll take your name away. We we'll take your name away from the list. We we'll take your name away from the list in the name of Jesus. We we'll take your name away. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go. We take your name away from the list. In the name of Jesus. 